What is up, Outdoor Office family? You know what? We're getting ready to have some fun today. We're going to a local pond uh, that you've seen us fish at many a times. But what today's challenge is, will a fish bite a clothespin fishing lure? And if you've watched some videos in the past, and you've if, seen us paint these, uh, you've seen us make these. This is, is this yours, Isaac? Yeah, that's mine. This was Isaac Sharpie. in our Sharpie challenge. This was Caleb's. That was mine. But there's the Stinger. Uh, there's the Tricky Ricky right here. Buzzing through math. And then buzzing through math. And then the, what, what we're going to call this? Ah, uh, uh, what was the the, name? the triple spin. Clothespin. Clothespin, that's it. The triple spin clothespin. We've got some uh, blades here on the back. But here's a selection of all uh, the clothespin lures that we've done. And today we're going to have a fishing challenge. So when you see us again, we're going to be fishing. And it's only clothespin lures challenge. But like after we're done with the challenge, I'm going to try out some of my baits that I haven't tried yet. Cool. All right. Like the copper nose bluegill. And if these don't work, I'm fishing with baits that I know catch fish. All right, that's fine. Well, let's get to the pond. We'll see y'all in a minute. All right, the challenge starts now. Isaac is using buzzing through math, representing who? Mr. McFerrin. Mr. McFerrin, yes. And Caleb is using the triple spin clothespin lure. All right, guys, fishing starts now. I am going to try to catch as much action as I can, but you're just going to have to bear with us and see what happens. All right. Oh, this looks nice. Looks nice. Let me get some first action coming in here. It looks like yours is going to sink, Isaac. No, it doesn't. It's yep, head up. first. Oh, yep. All right, there's Isaac's first retrieve. I'm trying to... Oh, uh, Caleb got weeds all over his, but the back blades are looking like they're running pretty good. Yeah. I think he's going to catch him something. All right. I don't know what about it. Let's just check the action. Oh, you got you got grass on it again, bud. Oh, well, nice. Here, hold on. You got grass yeah. on it. Oh. Yeah, that's right. You're gonna get one in your hand. Alright, let's check the action out real fast. Let's go. Water. Oh, look at that. Doesn't look too bad. Looks like a small umbrella rig. Alright, let's fish. Okay, let's keep going. Isaac's gonna get back in there with buzzing through math. See what happens. What's a big explosion? All right, let's keep. Let's go, baby. Isaac, my camera just turned off. What do you got, bub? What do you got? Buzzing through math has done it. Buzzing through math. Strikes first. Let's go. Nice little pounder. Right there, baby. Buzzing through math. That's Strikes for first. You. This is for you, Mr. McFerrin. Sweet. Good job, up. All right. So Isaac has another fish off the buzzing through math. So he's bringing it here to us. Oh my God. Short and fat, baby! Let's go! Let's see that thing. It's a nice fish, bud. Good job. This might actually beat my PB. No, that's not your PB, two buddy. Two pounder? Two no, and a half? No. Yes. That's about a two. Maybe. No. Maybe. All right, Caleb's got one first cast on the Senko. All right, go, baby. release him, release him. Let's get the release. Fucking go. Buzzing through math. Has done it again. Done it on the Senko. First cast on the Senko. So, Caleb. Caleb got the 
His first bass? First Sanka. First cast on the birthday cake Sanka. Yep, there you go. Well, Good job. Alright. Let's go. Continue with the fishing challenge. Alright, so Caleb uh, got hung up on something right out here in the middle that we have never got hung up on before. Um, and lost the triple spin clothespin fishing lure. So uh, now he's going to the J Bro Stanger. So we're going to see if he can catch some on this. So Isaac's got another one while I was tying on uh, the J Bro Stanger. That's a little buck bass there, looks like. Let's see what you got, Biggin. Oh, yeah. They're fun to catch, ain't they? Nope. Back in. Good job. The J Bro Stinger has done it. I just got an uh, email from Harry. Look at that. Look, look. So, do bass eat clothespin fishing lures? Yep, they do. I think they do too. I've caught three on buzzing through math. Oh my gosh. I did it. I caught a fish on a clothespin. Oh, that's so cool. Get it out. Ow, he's biting me. I'm the J Bro Stinger, baby, little pounder. <laughs> the J Bro Stinger. I I'm hear you. Love you bite you. <laughs> we'll make them for you, right? Yes. Let me see that thing. Let's see the J Bro Stinger. Let me see it. There it is. Good stuff. They hadn't seen their buddies in forever. And there goes Caleb. And there goes Isaac. Going to see their buddies. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right. The action continues. Here's my Sharpie bait that I painted with Sharpies or colored with Sharpies. So we're going to see if we can get a fish on this. The boys have said no more clothespin fishing lure challenge. They are now fishing down here with their Senkos, wacky rigged. And I think they pulled out three or four. But I'm going to try to catch one on my clothespin lure. Hang in there with us. I won't be able to video, but hang in there with us. Bass will eat Sharpie colored or Sharpie painted clothespins. <laughs> it's a little 12 inch fish, but right there, top of the mouth. Catching bass on clothespins. Can't, don't get any better than that. All right. Caleb caught his first chatterbait fish on the what? Behind the light. There you go. So Isaac's going back to the chatter. Uh, we got some big storm fronts moving in. And uh, I think the bite's going to turn on here in just a little while. Plain Jane. Plain Jane, baby. Nothing to it, right? But to do it. Yep. Except the hook and some. Oh, you're saying. Catching bass on clothespins. On a plain clothespin. Plain co clothespin. You got that right. Let's see what happens. I'm not even doing it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Is Caleb hooked up? Caleb hooked up? What do we got? What do we got, bub? He choked it, didn't he? Oh. Crap. He's bleeding like crap. Way down deep. All right, get it out of there. Well, here's the winner of the day, buzzing through math. Coming in second with the stinger. We lost the front hook on it, but um, it it actually, the split ring got wrapped around it somehow and the front hook come off. It's in the box right here. The Tricky Ricky did not perform. Um, my 
bait caught one fish and we did not try I believe this is Caleb's is this yours Caleb the striped one I think so yes and Isaac is this yours this one no that's Caleb's whose is this he painted that one both of them all right well the winners of the tournament buzzing through math so uh, it is confirmed that bass will eat this is mine right here a this is mine. fishing lure that is made from an old style clothespin so guys what do you think you have to make another triple spinner clothes pinner <laughs> but we're getting ready to get hit with some big storms rolling through here so we had to get off the water but what would you think we're well, on the water. We're well, on the bank. well we're on the bank but we're on the water. So, what do y'all think, guys? I think the close spin lures, you just got to make, like, two more of the triple spinner thing thing. And then fingers. maybe a couple more lures, not buzzing too bad. What, the same color scheme and the same buzzing? All right. And I could just, the one thing I was mad about most today, I lost the triple spinner. Close spinner. And I don't know what's down there that you lost it on, bud. No idea. I've cast it there a hundred times. So, what? we'll figure it out. Well, hey, y'all be good. And this is Larry Johnson. Smash that subscribe button. Help us get to that 10,000 mark. And then let's see where it goes from there. I told the boys, I said, if we got to 50,000 subs, I'd get my vehicle wrapped. Uh, what? I don't know. We'd J Bros, the outdoor office, all kinds of good stuff. We get 50,000 subscribers. Yep, I think we can do it. I think we can do it. How many of y'all watch? You want this car wreck? Yep, all right. Y'all be good. And you'll see our and new and improved car. Always remember. No matter what the season, we got you under our sights. You got that right. Y'all be good. Well, uh, here's the outro of the outro. I mean... Pretty ominous skies here tonight. Here in Nemesella Township. Uh, we got some big stuff blowing in. Uh, we just got home, so we're going to get in, batten down the hatches, and hope for the best. Hopefully it's just a little bit of rain. Oh, just cracked my knee. But... Storms have always interested me right, Dad, to watch them. Yep. Not good. Not good. Oh, oh, here a little bit of thunder oh, to the north here. here he, he, he's fine. All right, let's go. Not All right. Well, y'all be good, and we'll see you on the next one.